How are we expected to hold on to our wits in a system of virtual insanity? Literally doing the same things over and over and over again, expecting a different outcome. She is dark as obsidian. Salt of the earth, fire burning and water dripping. How could they be using goddess of magic? She is timeless. The plug that doesn't need a plug. She is the wildest woman. And let me say it again for those who need to hear it. The black woman. Is God. Let me say it again. The black woman is God. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Welcome to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo. Listen up. Listen up. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. I am your girl, Debian Nikki, the original wireless woman. And welcome back to my spot, room 303. If you are new, well, welcome to the crew. But my returnees, you know what we do. If you like this video, well then like this video video let the comments reveal how you really feel and if you're feeling a vibe well go ahead on and subscribe but before you blink share that link welcome this is another cult of personality episode of the wireless woman we are going to be talking about good old cognitive dissonance and if there's anything I always say, it's that being black in America is a permanent gaslight. So we are going to talk about why it is that you do all the things that you don't really want to do. So you already know what time it is. It is time to call that roll and I need the whole entire black delegation the Melanated Council to the front of the class. It's now time to read aloud. For all my old school Wi-Fi's, welcome back. And to my new school, welcome in. I am back in my Professor X frames tonight. These are my fancy ones. And I should be able to pick up my contacts tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'll put on my Cyclops visor to match the one on my superhero. Tonight, we will be talking about cognitive dissonance. And it would be just like me to pick something to talk about that I can't actually pronounce. So if I mess it up during this video, you know what we're talking about. We're talking about CD. I'm from North Carolina, so this could go any type of way. But the actual definition of cognitive dissonance reads as such. Cognitive dissonance, the state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. So basically, cognitive dissonance is being stuck in the inability to do what you do want to do while at the same time doing what you don't want to do and not knowing exactly why. And if there was any term that I felt best described what it is to be black in America, it is this cognitive dissonance. I decided to turn the Cult of Personality episode into a series simply because I'm starting to realize that the culture, the black culture and all of its beauty 
and excellence and all of its creativity, innovation, resilience, and ingenuity has become somewhat of a curse in some ways. We've developed, I think, culturally a bit of narcissism. I really blame the equality movement of the 1950s and 60s, the movements to integrate for how we arrived at the place where we are now. I believe that, you know, black industry was something that was on the precipice of truly revolutionizing American society. And of course, any group of people who have spent as much time on top, who has held on to global domination, is not going to want to give that up easily. When you are a part of a very complex system of injustice, how are you supposed to act with free will within a system that's carefully orchestrated with trap doors and false walls, secret passageways, and fall through floors. All you have to do is look at the voting rights bill block that happened over the past couple of days. We knew it was coming. We knew it would happen. But after being the record-breaking group of people to actually mobilize and go out and vote certain people into office, they actually worked against their own best interest, against the same exact group of people that by and large elected them. One would say that that was cognitive dissonance. I mean, what do we as Black people do? It's like, do you go with the Republicans that definitely won't do it? Or do you go with the Democrats who might not do it. We are literally between a rock and a hard place. And this dynamic finds its way from the national scale all the way down into our homes and personal lives. You know, we are a group of people who knows that we are more heavily policed than other groups of people. But does that make us less likely to commit crimes no. If you know that, if you're aware of that, then why not change your attitude and your behavior? You know, we already know that we are a group of people who are faced round about with different enemies and forces that are working against our collective progress, but yet we still act like we don't know that. We still act like we don't know that we're being bought and sold. While we are a group that has one of the lowest mean median incomes of all other races and cultures, we spend three times our income. We spend disproportionate, absorbent amounts of money on luxury, on luxury items. To, let's just be honest. You know, and it is a matter of looking down within yourself and seeing something reflected back that doesn't quite line up with who you know yourself to be, cognitive dissonance. But you can't dress that up. You know, I'm here in this episode to actually address a certain thing. We cannot dress that up. We cannot walk around on the outside wearing Italian clothes and German cars and Asian bundles and wonder why we are a disassociated people. Wonder why we have no clear sense of self, why we have no sense of identity. We literally have become a cult of personality. We are these automatons, these artificially intelligent people who are following all of these trends. You know, I talk a lot about a lot of things, but I do not wear fake nails. These are actually my nails, fake hair, eyelashes, and all these things. Because when I look at myself, even for whatever adornment I put on, I want to be able to still see myself reflected back at me. I chose tribal because I wanted to make sure that I always had a certain amount of individuality, a certain amount of uniqueness, an ability to be able to express myself with accessories, but not lose the essence of what I'm trying to express. You know, how did we go from being a set of people who were trendsetters to being trend followers? 
every single facet of our black American life is programmed for us all the way down to the TikTok dances that we copy to the things that we follow on social media, to the programs that we watch, to the paths for success that we ascribe to. All of us want to be rappers, athletes, um, IG models. You know, it's really starting to get very mundane, very boring. We have become so rote and mechanical in how we express ourselves that if you actually look around, white people aren't really following us anymore like they used to be. In integration, we have lost so much identity, so much personality and culture that I'm just not sure where we're going anymore. It just feels like we're going around and around in a circle. Like, do you remember the Wiz when they had the section where they were like, the color is green, the color is red. Like it's starting to feel like that. It's really starting to feel very Oz. <laughs> You know, and the wireless woman is about urging people to come out from among them. You know, God is within us calling out for us to be who we have been before, a more moral people. You know, our moral fiber has been stripped from us and it's causing us to not even be able to act in the ways that come natural to us. We're not able to do the things that we do want to do. We find ourselves stuck doing the things that we don't want to do, hurting people that we love, being the most vile towards the people who look like us. Like we have literally become the white supremacists within our own community. We elevate all the other cultures and races and we devalue our own, you know, and it literally is the spirit of the age is the narcissism of being some of the most beautiful, greatest people on the earth is going completely to our head. And it's hollowed out everything that we know about ourselves. I believe that we have arrived at the precipice of destruction. And I really want this cult of personality series to be about deconstructing that, about figuring out how we can go about making sure that we're rebuilding black culture. There is absolutely no reason why black people in this day and time when our resourcefulness, our intelligence, our individuality is needed so much to answer the questions and the issues of this administration, this time and place where we are in history, I'm going to tell you something. If there's any group of people that knows how to make a dollar out of 15 cents, it's black people. We should be at the head of every national company and industry right now making the hard decisions to help pull this country out of economic, moral corruption and ruin. But we're not. We're sitting back and trusting our future to groups of people who have showed us time and time and time and time again that they are not going to act in our best interest once endowed with our power. And it's like I said, the, the fingerprint of that is on everything. And I think I, as a black woman, feel so pressed to say this because we feel it all the way up the spectrum. You know, black women are feeling oppression coming from their own black men, coming from the outside races and cultures, the government. And we're the ones who have the large pile of crap that's sitting at the bottom of the hill with us. And, and we're telling you, it's getting overwhelming. It's gone too far. And yes, I love my black people, but we cannot follow the culture in into ruin it is literally insanity it is cognitive dissonance it is keeping us from doing the good that we could be doing it's keeping us from taking care of each other taking care of our children taking care of our own health 
we have some of the poorest eating and exercise habits. You know, but we, we up on the latest reality TV shows. We up on the sports. We up on the games. We're going to be the first people that they can willingly insert into the matrix because we don't like the lives that we live. I'm going to be honest with you. A long nap where I get to live better than I live right now for free. I mean, that's sounding like a dream. You know why? Because that's what I already do. I be asleep. Like when I was on my wireless journey, being outside in the sunlight, in the earth, doing things with purpose on purpose, it just reignited and invigorated something in me that allowed me to be able to find me, to find balance with God and nature and to look at the world that I was in and want to change it. So if you're with me, if you want to change your life and as a result of making lifestyle changes, change the world, if you recognize that the world needs to change and that nothing changes, if nothing changes, then go ahead and drop that headphones emoji in the comments. You know, we have to push back the tides of tyranny against groups of people that are being led along like sheep to the slaughter that are literally chained together in blind oppression and allegiance to groups of people that not only don't reach back and help us build our community, but use us as a resource to build their own. If that's not cognitive dissonance, I don't know what it is. This is literally the thing that is tearing our households and families and businesses apart is that programming, that ulterior motive that integration brought about. And I'm not saying, like I said, we don't need them. What I'm saying is we don't need them at the expense of our own best interests. If the price costs more than what we can pay, which, like I said, goes back to the spending habits of black people, why would you buy something you can't afford? And that's what we've done. We've sold ourselves a story. We've given ourselves something to believe in. And we believe and hold firmly to an elaborate orchestration of lies. But no one else can ever lie to you until you first lie to yourself. So if you're ready to tell yourself the truth, if you're ready to live your truth, that's this story that they put out about everybody else, that everybody else is walking in their own individual truth, like as if your own individual truth can negate the collective consciousness. That's what the Bible said. The Bible said that there are conscious would be seared as with a hot poker they've separated you from your consciousness your consciousness of god your consciousness of community your consciousness of responsibility your consciousness of of balance with the earth now if you're ready to connect to the collective consciousness of your community the consciousness of god go ahead and drop that headphones emoji in the comments but until the next time, I am your girl, Debbie and Nikki, your neighborhood wireless woman. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. As you power up, help me to power up. Bring me back week after week stronger than I was the week before. And until the next time, I will see you in the comments. Class is now dismissed.